Assalamu alaikum. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to create SFTP server in AWS with username password authentication. So basically what we are going to see, uh, we will create a SFTP server in AWS where we will authenticate the server using username and password. So basically we are going to follow this instruction which is provided in AWS blog. So you can see this is a, a reliable blog. So in this tutorial, I will I will also pro provide this link into the description. So those who are not that much aware of AWS, uh, you can uh, go through my tu tutorial and um, hopefully you will be able to create this SFTP server easily on the AWS. So how it will work? So in this diagram, you can see a SFTP user will request our uh, AWS SFTP server. Then the request will be provided uh, sent to our API gateway, which we will be creating. And then the API gateway will send the uh, information to uh, AWS Secret Manager, where uh, it will get authenticated. Then it will uh, reply the response to the API gateway. And uh, if um, the authentication is accepted, then uh, the user can, will be able to view the AWS SFTP. So to create this uh, SFTP server, uh, we are going to use few things. You can see here, first we'll create a S3 bucket. Then we'll use cloud formation uh, to easily create this SFTP server in transfer family. Using this cloud formation, we can easily create the cloud, uh, CloudWatch login uh, and necessary uh, roles, policies, so we'll use a template here in cloud formation to create it easily. Then we'll use secret manager. In secret manager, we'll store our secret. Secret means our password and our user ID. Uh, and after that, we have to create a role for using this SFTP. In role, we have to create basically a create policy. So let's just start it. So first, I will go to cloud co confirmation, uh, cloud formation. Uh, in cloud formation we will up upload our template actually you can down download this template from here you can see if you click this link it will open it will download a yml file which is actually template of this cloud formation and we are going to use this uh, aws provided cloud formation template so let's go to the cloud formation here you can uh, type cloud formation you can see here as I, I used it, it is already there. So you can use cloud formation. So this is cloud formation. If you click it, it will open the cloud formation. So before uh, we create the cloud formation, the usual process should be what I think we should create the bucket, then we should create the cloud formation, then we, uh, we should create the role manager and secret manager after that. So, but why I will start with cloud formation is that uh, it, it takes a little bit of while to create the cloud formation. And in the meantime, I will show you how to create the bucket. So that's what, uh, that's why I started with cloud formation. So before I show you the cloud form, create the stack, cloud formation stack, I, will, I want to show how, uh, the transfer family SFTP. So, the SFTP server will be in AWS Transfer Family Service. So if I open it, so you can see in our uh, AWS uh, Transfer Family, there is no server. So before I start, one thing I, I need to mention that uh, make sure you are in, in the same uh, domain. Domain means uh, in, in the same region. Let's say if you want to create the whole process, whether it can be uh, I mean why you or you can be any any location, but make sure all the all the services we started it should be in one single location. That will be that will easy your your work. So let create the cloud formation stack. So I'm giving the create stack. The template is ready. I already downloaded the template and I'm uh, uploading the template from my PC. So I create the upload template file. I'm opening it. And I'm selecting AWS Transfer Family. Okay. So uh, after that, I just have to put next. 
here you have to give the stack i am putting it sftp yt yt means youtube then uh, create server i am uh, making it true so it will create the server for me then next then you don't have to do anything if you have role you can provide here but i am not giving it there so i'm just keeping it as usual then i am creating giving next i ask it is asking me to review it i am providing it acknowledged and i'm clicking create stack so you can see create in progress so it will take few minutes to create this full a cloud formation because in background it will create server policy role tra, AWS tra, 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 transfer family sftp so in the meantime let's uh, go to our bucket and create a bucket i'm searching for bucket s3 bucket so i will select the create bucket bu button here now i have to give the bucket name here i am providing the bucket name yt bucket the region will be us east ohio then uh, i am keeping it sl disable and i am opening it so you can play with this restriction uh, if it is public access what you want to block or what you don't want to block uh, just for this tutorial i am just opening it uh, after creating the bucket uh, uh, you can also change this uh, access public access so i am giving this acknowledged i acknowledged bucket versioning i am disabling it if you want you can enable it uh, default uh, encryption i also disabling it and in, in advanced setting you can also uh, object lock you can also lock the object but i'm disabling it so next create bucket okay sftp bucket yt okay sftp yt let's put it sftp yt Bucket. So I am opening my bucket. So here you can see this is my SFTP YT. So here I will create the ARN of it from properties. This is the ARN. I will copy it and save it here. Oh, I'm going to need this, that's why I'm just copying. So let's go to the cloud formation. Let's see what is the up, upgrade, or update of it. So it is still create in progress. So we have to wait a little bit. It's create complete. Okay. You can see it's uh, create complete. So let's check whether this FTP is created or not. Transfer family. Let's go to AWS transfer family can see a transfer id has been created and it is online so you can see the server belongs to aws card forms formation stack sftp yt so the the our sftp server is already created now we just go back so we have created the bucket we have created the cloud formation now we need to create the secret manager with the role so let's start with role creation so go to role, go to role, so create role, I am giving AWS service, here this is very important thing, you have to select the transfer, transfer service here, if you don't really select the transfer file, you won't be able to access the SFTP, so I am selecting the transfer file, the next permission here it is asking for the policy actually so as you know we don't created any policy so let's create a policy 
So here policy, I am going to use a JSON file uh, which I have and I will put it in the video link description. You can uh, copy it and you can paste it here. So this is my JSON file. This is policy JSON. So I am copying it. I just paste it here. You need to change something, you know. Uh, this is actually bucket or bucket ARN. I have to put the bucket ARN. If you remember, I copied the, our bucket ARN. I am copying the bucket ARN. This is my bucket ARN and this is my bucket ARN. Make sure to put uh, uh, backslash and star here. So my JSON is completed. And here you can see we have provided a lot of uh, access here. So I'm giving next tag, next review. Now I have to put uh, the policy. I am providing it SFTP while SFTP YT policy. So copy it, create policy. This is the policy we just created. Okay, now go to uh, IAM rule and here reload it so that the policy which you created can be restored here. I know, just select this policy, next tag next tab role p yt role i'm creating the role here and let's open the role because we are going to need this area now if you Take that we have created the policy, we have chosen the role, and we have also uh, selected the transfer family. Now we just need to create a secret manager and it should work. So let's open the secret manager here. Secret manager, secret. Secret manager. Click others. Click plain text. Yeah, just copy paste this. 3 JSON value. You can use this JSON value I, as I am going to provide it in our in my description. So the password I am providing is test yt. The role ARN I have to copy from here. This is the ARN I am copying it. Let's put it here. Here I have to provide the home directory, basically my bucket name. My bucket name, if you go there, this is my bucket name. As I didn't have any file, I didn't create any file in the bucket. So I am providing this name. If you want to create a folder in the bucket, then you have to provide that path here. So I'm providing the bucket name here. And I'm keeping everything same. Next. The secret. SFTP policy SFTP user SFTP user the name you will be SFTP user next I'm keeping this as it is next store See, the secret has been created. So if I open the secret, you can see this user will be my username for this FTP and my secret value will be, my password will be test yt. So let's go to our AWS transfer family. Let us copy the URL. So 
So this is my SFTP server. Let's copy the endpoint. I'm copying it. I'm opening a free client, FileZilla client. This is my FileZilla client host. Now user will be my user. User password test yt port 22. Let us see if it is connected or not. See, it is connected to our uh, directory. Here, I can create a directory test. This is a, another folder I have created. So, this is how you can create a SFTP server in AWS where you can authenticate with you with username and password. So, thank you for watching. And if you find this video helpful, please give me a like and subscribe my channel. And please also share this video. It might help others. Thank you for watching.